This is a bucket list item of mine. Travel the wild. <laughs> Travel the wild black. Yeah, I'm usually like the only uh, Virgo. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. We're going to sit on the plane and to determine how much uh, fuel we're going to put in it. And I was like, whoo. Because <laughs> it don't really matter how much I weigh. Let's just fill it up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bailey Collins. Matt D -d 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 Doje. And this is Magician. And the Jock. Reaction time. Reaction time. Another. This is another suggested, suggested comedian. comedian. What's his name? Corey, uh, Corey Woods? No, Tony Woods. Tony Woods. Tony Woods. There's a lot of prep for this. Uh, right along the same lines as Patrice, uh, Patrice O'Neill and uh, Corey Holcomb. Holcomb. So yeah. I'm looking forward to this because I love both those guys. They were really funny. Yep. Thank you for the suggestions. This yeah. is forcing me to expand my comedy. <laughs> so let's see what this is about. This this video is called Traveling While Black. Yeah, so guys, keep keep the comments coming. Let us know who you want us to react to and we'll be more than welcome to check it out and see if it's something we want to do. So And this is a bucket list item of mine. Traveling while <laughs> Travel being, while black. <laughs> while black. There you go. It's so good to be on a show like this, you know what I'm saying? I do shows, you know, like comedy shows, but you know, it's usually like a different roundup of uh, people. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually like the only uh, Virgo. That's what I was thinking. Okay, y'all didn't hear me. <laughs> you, yeah, okay, Virgo, like it don't just mean you born in September or August. It's, you ever watch like an adventure movie? Yeah. Right, <laughs> and like you always know who gonna die first? <laughs> the, the Virgo. Yeah, okay, now. <laughs> We we all on the same page. Yeah, and I, I've been I've been saying that for a while because it came up one time. I went to Canada one time to do a show, right? Not by myself. It was a group of us, but like not like Canada, like you know, like uh, the, like no, like way up. Yeah, we was like a mile from Santa Claus. <laughs> With what the, what they call the Arctic Circle, which was dope because we we flew up there, but we like not like from the airport. Yeah, we flew from somebody's backyard. <laughs> no, he picked us up and he's like, yo, you know, he picked us up from the real airport, then took us to his house, and then he said, we're gonna fly that way. And I'm like, well, when are we going back to the airport? He goes, that's the plane right there, mm. my friend. <laughs> and I was like, I thought that was a Corvette. Okay, you know what that is, right? Do I have, y'all speak English, right? <laughs> Because, no, it had a tarp over it, and we pulled the tarp up, and it was... This is like me trying to describe anything to Jackson, <laughs> but when, like, Paw Patrol's on the TV, he's just, he's like, just like, not... I'm like, all right, we're doing this, and when he's just like, okay, well, whatever. Fine. Okay, cool. It seems like a tough crowd. Yeah, I, I, he's having a time it, with him, I it'll, think. It'll pick up. Yeah. It reminds me a little of, like, Jesse Lee Peterson. He does. Delivery. Yeah. It was an airplane, right? And you know what you don't want to hear before you get on a machine that can fly? Hand me the drill. <laughs> I'm like, we got to put this together? <laughs> but you don't. You just, you just fold the wing down and, and tighten it up, right? And it was like I said, it was a group of us, very diverse. Everybody from different walks, but I was the only Virgo. <laughs> you know, and everybody's like, this is going to be great. And I was like, uh, no. And I don't know if you ever flown on like a little plane like that. It's not like a regular plane where you just get on and sit on and find your seat. Mm -mm. You have to step on a scale. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what's this for? He goes, well, we have to weigh you to see we're going to sit on the plane and to determine how much uh, fuel we're going to put in it. And I was like, whoo. Because <laughs> it don't really matter how much I weigh. Let's just fill it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I, I was looking around to see if that sounded crazy to the rest of the... But the, the fuel has weight, too. So. Yeah, so you have to compromise. Jeez, I don't know. But well, that's funny. true, though. It's, it's like I heard one day it was like um, I forgot what maybe Stephen Wright or one of those Mitch Head Hedberg yeah talking about uh, how the little black box never gets destroyed mm -hmm. why not make the whole plane uh, out of the that, black box yeah yeah sounded crazy to the rest of the horoscope <laughs> and, and check it out because of my height my weight I had to sit right next to him like a co-pilot yeah <laughs> yeah and we flying over the frozen tundra. 
Have you ever seen somebody do something that you don't know how to do, but you give them advice? Oh, yeah. <laughs> something and you say, this motherfucker doing this wrong. Because <laughs> we fly like this. <laughs> Dude, that's good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, man, keep your foot on the pedal. <laughs> Have you ever ride with someone? It's like they never knew cruise controls invented. There's like, and there's like pulsating. You're like, bro, I know you're giving me a ride. Just appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, please bit the cruise For control. For the love of God, I'm getting vertigo. In here. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. He, that, this sounded just like a small little. <laughs> yes, I, I haven't gotten on one of those, but. Apparently they're safer than the big ones. I, I might have just made that up. I don't know. You always see those planes like the ones. You only hear about them when they crash. And it's like it seems like once a month into yeah. a barn or. They're like, what's that movie with Tom Cruise where he, American Made? Remember mm-hmm. that he was the pilot? Yeah. See how cool I said that. I was nervous. Don't get me wrong, but I had I had to stay, you know, calm, because you know I don't want to get excited on those little planes. They have a voice recorder in case the plane crash, you know, and they can't identify the body. Right, so listen to the voice recorder. And I didn't want it to be, oh yeah, and just say we crash. I didn't want to say, you know, I didn't want them to listen to it and say something like, oh shit, we about to crash. You know what, motherfucker? I knew I shouldn't got on this fucking plane. But guess what, bitch? I'm not gonna die first, because I'm gonna stab you, stab you, stab you. <laughs> and then they would have said something like, well, we can't identify the bodies, but pretty sure one was a Virgo. <laughs> That's good. God, that was quick. Yeah, that was that was quick. He brought it in. Yeah. I mean, he's good. We're going to have to um yeah, we're going to have to watch some more cuz this would be a really short video. I guess that's his bit like come out and be real like, you know, like and then he just went in straight up Virgo it, mode. At first when I first saw him, I thought he was going to be like one of those I don't need to cuss type real dry type yeah. humor and then all of a sudden you know, yeah. punch in the face, and it was so funny. Yeah, no, that was good. <laughs> that was good. I wish it was longer. Yeah, um, that's, I'm, uh, I'm guessing that's part of a longer bit. We'll have to check more out. Thank you for that recommendation. Yeah, that was that was good, guys. If you like that, give us a thumbs up. Smash the like button. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. God, we butchered that all up. And still smash the like button. <laughs> we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.